Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be kind of a random rambly video. I don't really have a title for it, but what I wanted to do is basically talk about the topic of makeup addiction. Now, I recently watched Laura May, I believe is her name or her channel name. I'll go ahead and link her video down below. She made a video called her makeup addiction or something like that. It basically went viral and I saw it. So I subscribed to her channel because I love her personality. She's really laid back. She just has like this really soothing vibe to her. She's very knowledgeable because she is a working makeup artist and she is really huge on project panning. And I must say, she's really sparked an interest in my mind, Project Panning, and she really makes me think about using my collection more because I get so sucked into buying everything that's new, and I must say her video has made a huge impact in my mind. Um, so I want you guys to watch it. I will link it down below, and if you guys are interested in her channel, I would 100% recommend subscribing. After her video went up, I did think about making a similar video, and then I saw the Fancy Face made a car chats video, so I'll link that down below as well, kind of talking about the same thing. And honestly, me and Fancy Face and Laura May, I believe is her name, sorry if I'm butchering that, kind of are all on the same page. A lot of the YouTubers, especially smaller ones like myself, I love makeup, don't get me wrong, but sometimes I feel like a lot of pressure because you want your channel to do well and really, I feel like... A lot of the ways to stand out in YouTube right now is to review products and review the newest products to buy the latest greatest things and show them off to people. I feel like that really gets the most views. Like for me, my swatch videos get a, get a lot of views. They kind of catch on quicker and also people really seem to like things like disappointing products, product regrets. It seems like a lot of like negative, not negative, what, but like videos that aren't so positive that get you the most attention. So personally for me, I love a good swatch video. They're so easy to make and they involve new products. So I always get like dragged into the hype and I don't want to miss out. There's so much FOMO when it comes to makeup for me and I really feel like it is almost overwhelming in the sense that I don't feel like I get to test out products. Every time I get something and I'm so so excited about it, something else comes out and then I do a swatch video, completely abandon the idea of reviewing that product and then I'm like on to the next one. So after watching both of those videos, I just kind of realized that everyone is feeling the same way as I do. And so why don't we collectively as a beauty community kind of take a step back and really think about that, that we don't have to review the newest, latest, greatest products. We don't have to go buy thousands of dollars worth of holiday kits just so we can make long drawn out videos about things we really don't care about. A lot of people, I feel like in that 100,000, 200,000, 300,000 range, like the subscriber count, I feel I feel like a lot of them are trying to review like these Too Faced um, kits and they get all this PR and they try to like review it and push it on you but honestly it's like it's so hard for me to buy into that hype because I don't trust those YouTubers because they're not spending their own money on these things and then the bigger bigger YouTubers like in the millions range I hate that because they get so much free makeup, but all they do is like, they'll show it to you on Instagram or Snapchat and they never make videos about it, which blows my mind because even them showing it on Snapchat versus somebody doing a thorough review on something like that, their Snapchat is worth more than somebody that actually used the product, loves the brand and things like that. So it's a very confusing world we live in. Personally, for me, I just want to do well at YouTube. It's really my only hobby. Um, makeup is one of my favorite things in the whole wide world. I never really used to wear makeup as a kid. I moved to the United States when I was about 18 years old and I never used to wear makeup and then I kind of progressively got into it. I think YouTube really kind of spurred it on at the end here in the last couple of years and I've really 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 been enjoying it and I feel like my skills have grown. I do a bit of makeup on the side and that's something I want to focus on as well especially with growing my channel and maybe getting into like the freelancing and doing wedding makeup, special occasion makeup and things like that. So anyway, on the YouTube side of things, I really want to grow my channel. So I'm at about 600 subscribers right now and I constantly feel pressure to buy new things so that I can keep my audience engaged and I have a pretty crazy 
filming schedule because I do upload every other day. That's a lot of videos. So half of the month I upload videos and not a lot of YouTubers do that. I know some people do upload every day but there's not a lot of people that upload every day um, or that I know of so if you definitely have channel recommendations I would love to hear because um, I love that connection I love seeing people every day um, makes me feel like they're my friend makes me feel like they're really putting an effort in and so to me it is important to keep that up with you guys and kind of film so you guys know that I'm here and I feel like it is on the back end good for your channel too it's a good way to kind of get recognized now I know that the YouTube algorithm is changing constantly and I think they've made it more difficult for people that upload every day or every other day. I'm not really sure because I'm not very good at reading my analytics. But anyway, that's a story for another day. But yes, I do feel pressure to buy makeup a lot. And after watching her video, what I've learned is I need to invest more time in the things I bought and really put a lot more thought into what I'm buying. Because I buy a lot of things just for the sake of buying them and I'm like after a while I'm like you know and it's great that we live in America and we're able to return things I have a lot of friends overseas that are constantly like oh my god you're so lucky you can return something if you don't like it and I feel like I'm almost abusing that situation because I know if I don't like something I can take it back and now I'm just like questioning myself like why do I feel the need to do that if I don't like something if I get that gut feeling I shouldn't be buying it anyway I shouldn't just keep buying it so I can return it I've been doing that a lot so um, as the year is kind of rounding off and coming to a close, my goal is to buy less and be more thoughtful and then use the collection I have because if you guys see this room that I'm in, this is my beauty room, solely dedicated to my makeup collection and getting ready and my filming space and things like that and I'm so lucky to have that because a lot of people don't and every time somebody walks in here they're blown away which like makes my heart happy because again this is my love you know this is what I love to do but I need to put more effort into loving the things I have instead of bye 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 so my goal is to do more project pans I do actually um, kind of do that on the back end a lot of products I'm trying to use up I do have little stickers on so I can remind myself constantly like use that up use that up use that up I love empties I love finishing products most of us do and yeah I just feel like you know Lauren made a really good point I watched one of her like how to be successful in project panning and she said pick products you love and get use out of them because you did spend the money on them and I 100% agree so hopefully you guys found this video useful mine's more rambly hers is more concise she had like points written down and everything but if you're a fellow youtuber I want to say you know don't feel pressured to like buy everything because I don't really think that's gonna make you a good youtuber in the long run I think it's more important to focus on quality um, learning to edit your videos learning more makeup skills like actually learning to do your makeup not just you know throwing things together um, and yeah focus more on improving the quality of your channel is what I think and that's my goal and again more project panning using the collection I have I want to get into more tutorial type videos I want to show you guys my collection more I want to review things that I've already bought that I meant to review like months ago that I never did like none of my Violet Voss palettes have I reviewed none of my Juvia's Place palettes I bought something from Suva Beauty that never got reviewed I have a bunch of stuff from Zoeva that I never reviewed so I'm really really disappointed in myself that I never got around to those things and I'm so mad at myself that I keep falling into the hype so this is like my declaration to myself that I'm going to be more thoughtful in the things I buy and kind of try to use my collection more so that is it for me. Check out those two very, very helpful videos down below. I think a lot of us need to hear this. I'm not like a diagnosed, you know, beauty addict like Lauren said, but like I said, we can all definitely, you know, learn to be better and learn to save more. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and check out those videos. And I'm going to stop rambling now. And thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye, guys.